Episode 28 Minji and X and Chi are happily married, X and Chi had a heart attack. This time it seemed a little serious. Minhui stayed with X and Chi in the ward. Seeing him so uncomfortable, Minhui's eyes were red with distress. The doctor suggested an operation, but X and Chi didn't want to. He hated the feeling of being helpless in bed and felt very uncomfortable after each operation. Xian Chi asked his assistant to postpone the operation for another day. Minhui asked Zhou Ruji about Xian Chi's condition. Zhou Ruji said that perhaps he had worked too hard during this period, which caused some complications, and he needed immediate surgery, otherwise his life would be in danger. Minhui's face was full of tears. She didn't understand why fate was so cruel to befall her lover and children with this disease. Xian Chi didn't want Minhui to worry so he deliberately changed into casual clothes the next day and said that he was completely healed and that he was going to go abroad to discuss a job tomorrow. Minhui knew Xian Chi's white lie, she smiled and agreed, but today she will be with her one day, Minhui changed into a small dress and called a few close friends to witness her marriage proposal in person. Since Xian Chi was afraid that the illness would not bring Minhui happiness, then let Minhui do the marriage proposal. Xian Chi saw Minhui Guangjie standing in front of him in a white dress, holding a diamond ring with his own hands and asked Xian Chi to put it on for him. At this moment, Xian Chi was very happy, with children and lovers by his side. He held the wedding ring, looked into Min Hui's eyes, and asked her to wait for a while, and he would stand in front of Min Hui healthy and healthy after the operation. At night, the family of three lay on the bed, all sleeping sweetly between their parents. Min Hui felt a little regretful about wasting so much time with Xian Chi. If she had known that it would be nice to treat the two of them together when they first reunited, Xian Chi, but I feel that we have always been together, now and in the future, and I will always stay by Quan Quan and Min Hui's side. In the morning, Min Hui didn't see Xian Chi when she got up. She hurriedly went to the living room to look for it, but found a written will on the table, which was signed by Xian Chi. Xian Chi went to the airport with his assistant early in the morning. This time he is going abroad for an operation, and he hopes that God will treat him better and the operation may be successful. Min Hui called Xian Chi and couldn't help crying. She told Xian Chi to come back early, half a year later, Chao Mu asked Min Hui to change into a more beautiful dress to meet the client. When Min Hui went to the place, she found that the mysterious client was Xian Chi. She was so pleasantly surprised that Min Hui even cried with joy. They hugged each other and confide in each other deep feeling. Finally being able to be together, this process is hopeless and extremely happy. Min Hui and Xian Chi held a grand lawn wedding, and Quan Quan acted as their parents' little witnesses, and read the wedding vows in a serious manner. Chen Jujun quietly told Chao Mu that if he snatched Min Hui's bouquet, Chao Mu would marry him. Chao Mu smiled and nodded, but with Chen Jujun's hard work, he finally caught the bouquet. For a moment, a happy sister-brother relationship finally blossomed. After the wedding, Min Hui and Xian Qi, Yao Zizhu and Xian Qi, Chao Mu and Chen Jiajun went to the beach together, they all reaped their own happiness, happy life. Xian Qi also took Min Hui to see the wishing tree. Xian Qi had many good wishes, and in order for Min Hui to help them realize, he wrote a whole tree. A year later, Min Hui and Xian Qi's second child was born. Quan Quan felt that it would be nice to have a little sister, although the little brother is also very cute. A little princess.